let's talk about it let's discuss it because it is going down november 15th i'm talking about jake paul versus mike tyson both of them have shown videos of them training both of them are putting sparring sparring partners down both of them are ready to go folks this is a fight that should have happened a few months ago in the summer but mike tyson because of medical reasons was not able to step inside the square circle so the fight was postponed and we're finally getting it on november 15. is mike tyson going to be able to hang in there with a younger perhaps even bigger person in jake paul or is mike tyson experience his agility his reaction his second nature of being a straight fighter in the square circle going to take over let's go ahead and discuss that in this video but first let me take a moment and thank every heavy hitter out there who has subscribed to the channel big old thank you big old shout out to you and if you're stopping by for the first time or stop by on the regular but haven't had a chance to subscribe hit that subscribe button hit that like button and i'll keep the videos coming welcome to the family so in analyzing the clips that went up on social media of mike tyson knocking down a sparring partner and jake paul knocking down a sparring partner one thing is obvious mike tyson is explosive there's two different types of fighters in front of us we have an explosive mike tyson who comes in chin tucked in swinging 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 throwing punches and bunches that being said he is older and his muscle memory might be there but his muscles might not respond might not have the same reflexes they had when he was younger and is that going to work against jake paul well we'll find out on november 15. on the other hand jake paul is fast is fresh is agile but is not a full bred fighter as mike tyson jake paul began fighting at an older age has been doing it professionally for the past two or three years but is he ready to shut down all the haters that's the question is he ready and is he going to do it because this is a one in a lifetime opportunity him against mike tyson folks here's my point of view on the fight i believe that tyson is going to go in is going to attempt to end the fight as early as he can he, he is not getting paid for overtime and it is in his best interest, the interest to end the fight as quick as possible, a knockout. Because if the fight goes round after round after round into the late rounds, I believe it's only eight rounds, eight rounds, two minute rounds. So we're looking at 60 minutes. If the fight goes into the late rounds, I see a fresher jake paul i see a jake paul that can punch that can touch mike tyson and that can have mike tyson in trouble his feet are fresher his body is newer and he is going to be more agile than mike tyson but if tyson is able to land a straight right hand a left hook an overhand right hand on jake paul then it's going to be night night Folks, that's my point of view on Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if boxing is what you like to follow on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I'll keep the videos coming. Peace.